good morning children all are ready with your textbook today we have in the previous class we have discussed about the natural calamities now today we are going to do with the meanings and objective type in this in this class children today's class so i'll read the meanings let us learn words these are the new words for you all and the meanings children if you be thorough with this meaning you can understand the question and answers you can write very easily and is important also calamity an event causing great damage calamity an event causing great damage afforestation act of planting trees act of planting trees afforestation epidemic a widespread occurrence of an infection disease in a place epidemic a widespread occurrence of an infection disease in a place drought prolonged periods of very long rainfall drought a prolonged periods of very low rainfall earthquake a sudden violent shaking of the ground earthquake a sudden violent shaking of the ground cyclone a storm which brings heavy rain cyclone a storm which bring heavy rain floods overflow of a large amount of water over dry land floods overflow of a large amount of water over dry land volcanoes a rupture in the earth crust through which the lava hot ash and gases uh, escapes into the air volcano a rupture in the earth crust through which lava hot ash and gases escapes into the air these are the meanings children calamity afforestation epidemic a drought now you should know the meaning of epidemic infection disease in a place it spreads so drought earthquakes cyclones floods and volcanoes now we are going to the fill in the fill in the blanks children you are having take out your pencils and you have to write okay i am going to dictate now you have to listen carefully the natural disasters cause huge damage to the life and property in first dash you write life l i f e life and the second dash you write uh, property p r o p e r t y property the second one when there are sudden movement under the surface of the earth and dash occurs that is earthquakes e q e a r t h earth q u a k e earthquakes okay and the third one there is a dash when there is no rain for uh, rain for the long period there is a dash when there is no rain for a long time that is drought d r o u g h t drought there is a drought when there is no rain for a long time and fourth one vulcan dash are opens in the earth crust through which the magma ash and hot gases come out volcanoes are opening in the earth crust through which magma ash and hot gases come out c o sorry volcano spelling v o l c a n o e s volcanoes drought can lead to a famine f a m i n e famine drought can lead to a famine first one life and property second one earthquake third one drought fourth one volcanoes fifth one famine now we are going to the choose the correct answer when water in a river rises and overflows upon the land dash are caused volcanoes earthquakes floods a1 is volcanoes b1 is earthquakes c1 floods so all right c children that is floods understood children and the next one the earthquakes with an in intensity of and above causes a lot of damage that is a1 6 and above b 2 or less c or 3 or less so it is a so that is 6 and above the strong with accompanied by heavy rain are called a volcanoes b droughts c cyclone so it is cyclone c you have to write magma is made up of dash sand rocks cement so b rocks children and fifth one the dash in india experience the frequent earthquake mountain himalaya ranges uh, the desert and coastal area so answer is himalayan ranges a1 children the first one is c the second one is a the third one is c and the fourth one b and the fifth one a 
it is clear children in the next class get ready with your class workbook so i'm going to give question answers the new words and the question answers also children thank you children have a nice day see you all in the next class